everybody, my name is Rose and I welcome you to the Rose Tarakals. Today we will be doing a reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of July 2019. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? If this is the case with you, please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, I thank Source, I thank the Universe, I thank all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to finally share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So Virgo, let's get started. I've blessed the cards, prayed over them, yes, and laid them out on the table for you to save on time, right? So, looks like in the past you have been through some kind of betrayal, right? You had isolated yourself, you were thinking about it. You went inside yourself. Yes. You were enlightened to some kind of information that brought about this betrayal. Right. It perhaps had to do with your partner mm, investing somewhere else emotionally. Right. Mm, it had to do with a younger woman, a person who was younger than you. Right. You were enlightened to this fact that, that your partner perhaps had a lover on his side. Right? You were definitely enlightened to the fact that he had a lover on his on the side. No. It did not sit down well with you, right? So you decided to leave this toxic behavior behind. You perhaps went through a phase of jealousy and, um, oh dear, of course you were jealous, there's no doubt about it, but it was too toxic for you, right? There was lots of arguments, there was lots of a, uh, mm, there was a lot of heartbreak from what I can see, right? And he had come to a conclusion after your spiritual process and being a vacant inside, right? It's best to put that situation to rest. As for your partner, your partner is investing in his future, in his stability, right, he's concentrating on his money and he's moving ahead. Yes, he's moving ahead with his young lover. Now, mm, you do keep, look, uh, uh, keep looking at the, bar, uh, at, at the past Right. You keep looking into the past and even though it hurts you, you decide to move ahead in your truth. You decide to create a brand new path for yourself. Right. I think this is calling for a divorce, so it must have been a long term relationship, a long term partnership, live in a relationship or a long-term investment, uh, sorry, engagement, right? Right. Your partner 
Your partner is investing in himself. Right? He feels like he has won and he has got what he wants. That's what he feels. Right? Mm. Yeah. You have decided to move ahead in your truth. You have decided to move ahead towards what makes you happy, right? Through this breakup. Now both of y'all are looking good on each side of yours. While you're moving forward, darling. While you are moving forward, darling Virgo, yeah? You are presented with new opportunities. You are pre presented with new options in life, new path. Your path has opened up. It's looking pretty bright from what I can see. You are presented with a new offer. You are presented with a new offer in in terms of career opportunities, in terms of a creative idea, or in terms of a business opportunity. You are presented with a new offer, and you are looking very abundant, right? You are on your way towards success, darling. Right. And you're looking very abundant. Mm. Looks like your partner is getting envious of you. It's, oh dear, it's like... It's like... It's like... <laughs> Sorry. But it, li it looks like... Virgo. It looks like... It's some kind of a competition here. Mm -hmm. It's like you both are trying to compete against each other. You both are watching each other and you both are trying to compete against each other. Mm -hmm. When you're happy, he's sad. When he's sad, you're happy. So it's like a tit for tat or something of the sort. Right? So let's take a look. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take a look ahead. So, anyways, so you're looking abundant, at least towards your partner. You're looking for your partner. You're looking abundant. You're going about your day-to-day -day things, and you know, making yourself look good and prospering in your area of work or you know, family life. This makes your partner jealous, right? And when he sees you prospering like this or looking good, basically, he wants to try and move towards you in terms of uh, keeping the peace even though you're going to a divorce from what I can see he wants to keep the peace for some reason yes it could be because mm, it could be because of the division in assets and the division in the uh, uh, financial area and all that stuff right so perhaps it's uh, it's kind of um, it's uh, leaving him it's leaving your partner unsettled. Let's put it that way, right? Anyways, moving ahead. You want you yourself want to leave the conflict behind, yeah? You want to leave the conflict behind. And by the way, it looks like you have the upper hand. Seems like when you're looking good, you have the upper hand. But this looking good is just surface level, darling. This is what you're just trying to portray. Keeping up appearances is what we, is what we call it. Right? So... Even though inside you might be breaking or you know not fully healed for example right you're doing this just to make yourself look good so that perhaps your partner gets jealous mm. 
He sees you very nice. He sees you shining bright. Right? And it's driving him insane. He thinks he has lost you. He thinks he has lost you in the sense he thinks he has made a mistake in leaving you. <laughs> so basically you're achieving your goal of what you of the effect you intended to have on this uh, person of yours. Right? So he's looking at you through new eyes because you suddenly start to look good. Mm. Even though he's with his new partner, even though he's with his new lover, right? He's feeling something towards you because you are keeping up appearances. Mm. Nice. Let's see what's going on. I'm thinking about this divorce. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see if you will go through with it or not. Divorce, separation, or whatever it is, right? Let's take a look. Mm. Right. Mm. Oh my god, it's such a game for you two. It's like a real, uh, what do you call it? Mm. Enticing, enticing. It's getting very juicy. Let's take a look. So let's see. Seems like. You, my darling Virgo, is playing a very nice game here. Hmm? And I tell you what, it's working. <laughs> From what I can see, oh dear, it's so juicy. It's working pretty well. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're going to win him back, darling. Because your strategy, yes, is working. So, looks like very soon... Just to keep it simple and just to like, you know, give you the whole idea from what's here. You might just be successful in getting your spouse, your long-term partner back. Okay, so that's the good news for you. So let's see how you go about doing it. Mmm, juicy. Right, so, um, seems like whatever attraction, yeah, law of attraction you've done here, but making yourself look attractive, you know, and not giving in to an argument and avoiding a um, situation where it could all fall apart, right? You concentrate on yourself, even though it was a false uh, appearance or whatever, you are looking good to your partner, right? You're looking confident, you're looking beautiful. And his young little mistress is not looking so good anymore. Mm. He thinks he has made a mistake. Yes, he thinks he has made a mistake by leaving you. And if you want him back, that is excellent news, isn't it? So he will come towards you with a small, stable offer of a reconciliation. Shh! No noise. Sorry. Mm. Anyways, ignore that, please. So, yes, it comes. Excuse me, Muffin. Do you mind? Right. So he comes towards you with a small, stable offer for reconciliation and is hoping and wishing and is hoping and wishing that you accept it. Yes, and he's hoping and wishing and hoping and wishing that you accept it. Oh dear. Excuse me. Hello. You're sick. I think you better sit down, okay? There's no need to get so excited. Right. So. Yes, so he's hoping and wishing and hoping and wishing that you take his offer. A small offer because he's so scared of losing you now. Well, he lost you before. When he had his mistress, he didn't bother, did he? Mm -hmm. Anyways, you're playing hard to get, darling. Even though it kills you inside, 
yeah you are playing hard to get with a little bit of patience and that last bit of little bit of patience is going to get you the victory you seek mmm juicy what a game well life is a game isn't it so you're making him work you're making him sweat you're making him run towards you yeah <laughs> absolutely wonderful absolutely brilliant so from what I can see he's working towards you since you're making him sweat he's putting in the effort now yeah he's finally after all these years I don't know how many years he's putting in the effort to work towards the relationship which he perhaps may have taken for granted which he may have forgotten the love invested in this relationship the severity of the love the depth of the love sorry the depth of the love invested in this relationship mm. so perhaps when he went when he stepped out of the relationship perhaps it was just a physical uh, attraction right but then when it came to what you call the real substance it is you who have won because you played you played it so smooth right it's basically like as if you followed instructions like in a guidebook one step-by-step -step process and you're going about it so smoothly so juicy right so your strategy is working darling Virgo your strategy is definitely working very well mm. it seems like you're gonna keep your house intact finally yes it's all going to be well again yeah you're you have a lot of love for this person but you're not showing it yes you're not showing it to him you're giving it bit by bit mm. very nice very diplomatic nice mm. absolutely wonderful right this person of yours is so, this is in the future, right? He's going to be so, um, oh, he's going to be so regretful of the damage he's done to the relationship. And, you know, you're going to have this conversation and he's going to be so apologetic and so regretful. Yes, it will make you sad. Definitely. You will share the sadness with him. And... You will be ma able to manifest this relationship back into your life. It is you who have done it because you have understood. You had been enlightened over here from what I can see through your spiritual awakening that you went through. When you went through the breakup, you probably, you know, educated yourself on the law of attraction. And my darling, seems like you are successful. Absolutely successful. And it is true love, so that's why that pulls him back as well. Right? This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow! Absolutely wonderful. This relationship will be healed in time, okay? Because you played it cool. You played it cool. You played it very diplomatically. You did not sabotage. You did not sabotage the relationship completely. Basically, when things happened, yeah, when you all separated, I think you may have just separated yourself and let him be. And then you played it hard to get. You looked abundant. You looked prosperous. You looked confident. You looked like, you know, the bell of the ball, as they say. And, my darling, it worked definitely worked in your favor because from what I can see you are the one who has manifested this right absolutely so let's see what Archangel Michael has to say to you congratulations my darling Virgo this is your life's purpose and eternal love darling true love eternal love mm. eternal love Am I doing a twin flame again? Mm -hmm. Let's say, let's put it this way, you know, soulmates, right? 
and a very strong bond strong bonding soulmates so let's say this prayer to Archangel Michael shall we Archangel Michael you know the details of my divine life purpose and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career isn't that amazing thank you Archangel Michael so let's see what the spiritual guidance cards have to say to you for relationships you receive the guidance card of perception for personal growth you receive the guidance card of releasing bad habits and for servant leadership you receive the guidance card of long-term vision so let's take a look for the immortal soul this life is like a single pencil point in a long line of many lives with thoughts extending to infinity but we are unable to see the larger picture of life beyond the present circumstances we have missed the point mm. right and you have been able to darling see the larger picture of life beyond the present circumstances and you maneuvered so smoothly and you manifested him back into your life because the bond was so so strong yes seems like by the looks of the message I'm getting through here and intuitively as well this was a relationship as lasting a lifetime definitely right nothing can break this relationship because mm, you'll be back together aren't you you all will be back together anyways <laughs> right so in personal growth you have releasing bad habits as we become aware of the divine nature of the immortal self, we move past harmful habits that come from fear, depression and self-doubt and rise toward fulfilling our own miraculous potential. Do I need to say anything more? Absolutely not. So in sync with your reading. And in terms of relationships, you got received the message of perception. It says here, we may not be able to control the environment around us, but we can control our perceptions and our interactions with others. How we interpret our experiences determines what our experiences will be. And that's just what you did. You just changed your perception and you manifested your partner back into your life absolutely wonderful yes congratulations Virgo Oof. yes you made your partner sweat and work for it <laughs> all right and darling darling Virgo I thank you for tuning in to your reading I hope you enjoyed your reading yes they'll be bi-monthly so I'll do the second half of the month as well and I hope to see you again all right until then, my darling Virgos, I love you, take care, and God bless.